Okay, we're down here at uh, uh, Biloxi uh, on the Isle of Capri docks, and uh, what's your name? Tommy Frutiker. What's your last name? Frutiker. Frutiker. All right, and you, uh, um, you're a deckhand on what boat? The Quick Time. Quick Time out of where? Orange Beach, Alabama. All right, now what are you fixing to do, Tommy? Tie a bimini twist. Now why do you tie a bimini twist? What is it, and why is that important for marlin fishing? Uh, it just doubles up the line, makes you... A good spot to attach your wind on. I see. So you, this is the leader that's actually going to the, the lure you're going to have the fish on, right? This is where you connect the leader to the rod. Where you connect the leader to the rod. Why do you want a double line? Uh, just because. That's what we've always used. It gives, you, gives you more strength between the, the main line and the, uh, and, and the leader line, right? Yeah. All right, show us how you do this now. All right. Now, what pound test line are you using, Tommy? 130. Why 130? That's what class reels we're using. That's the class reels you're using. All right, so you're getting off a, about how much line are you taking to make a, a bimini twist? Uh, however long you want to make it. How long do you usually make it? Make it about five feet. About five feet? Yep. Why do you want it that long? It's, it's easy to work with that long. I see. All right, now you're just twisting up the line, right? Yep. Now, this is to make a knot, right? You got your hand in there, and you're just going over and over and over, twisting that line, right? Yep. Okay. And you twist it all the way up that five feet? No. I do 30 wraps. 30, 30 wraps, okay. Yep. Now, after we got our 30 wraps, what are we going, what are we going to do now? Yeah. Push it up and tie it off. Push it up and tie it off. Now, what kind of knot are we going to use to tie it off with? Bimini twist. All right, let's see how, how we do the bimini twist. And this is one of the most famous knots in all of big game fishing. All right, we got it twisted 30 times. Now, why are you licking that line? Just to make it roll smoother. Make it roll smoother. All right, so you got it rolled up to about a foot, maybe about 18 inches. Yep. You got it up to about 18 inches now, right? Now what are we going to do? We're going to roll it back over itself. So, so you roll a line together and then you roll it back over itself. Correct. And that adds an awful lot of strength to that monofilament, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, how far are we going to push it back over itself? Till it ends. So now instead of having five foot of twist, you've only got about, you've only got about three inches of twist, right? Correct. And now what are you doing here? Uh, finishing the knot off. All right, how, how are you doing it? What are you doing there? What are you, how are you wrapping it? You put the line between the two pieces? Yep, do a half hitch around one leg of it and then half hitch around the other leg. So we got two ha hitch, half hitches, one around each side of that line, double line. Then you're coming around putting a half hitch around both of them. Around both of them. I do six. You, you do how many half hitches? Six. Why six? Good number. Good number, okay. He's doing six half hitches now. And that makes you an awful strong knot because you really don't have a knot. You just have the line uh, wrapped around itself a bunch of times, right? Correct. Okay, now that we've got that done, what are we going to do next? We're going to finish it off. All right, now how do we finish it off? I don't know what you call it, but wrap it around six times and then wrap it back over itself. Okay, wrap it back over itself. You have putting how many wraps o on that line to wrap it back over itself? Six. Six, six wraps over the line. And then you go pull that, pull that tag in up, right? Yep. And what will that do? Will that lock the knot? Yes, it will. Make it where it doesn't unravel through your guides. Okay, I see. So you'll be able to pull this this uh, bimini twist knot through the guides of your rod, right? Correct. Right. And pull it down tight. He's cinching the knot up. Real, real tight. And let's see, cut the tag end off. Here's your scissors and pliers right here. All right, Mike, see if you can zoom in on this knot right here. You come in on that, that's a bimini twist. 
That's yet a knot most often used in big game fishing to give you a double line. Can you see it, Mike? Okay, that's how you tie the bimini twist, which is one of the main knots you need if you're fishing for big game like marlin, wahoo, tuna, dolphin, stuff like that. Now tell me again your name and where you're out of. Tommy Friedeker, Orange Beach, Alabama. Okay, thank you, Tommy.